Balrobiro Adi. Thank you, Madam Deputy Speaker. Women in my community have been shaken to the core by the abduction of my constituent, Sarah Everard. The ongoing investigation means there is only so much we can say, but the response to the appeal and the investigation shows that Sarah was much loved and my thoughts and prayers go out to Sarah's family, her boyfriend and her friends at this unimaginably difficult time. Sarah's disappearance has left so many women feeling unsafe and with the theme of International Women's Day, I choose to challenge the disgusting victim shaming that we have seen since Sarah's disappearance. It should go without saying that victims of gender violence are not to blame. Sarah did nothing wrong. All she did was walk home. And it should not be luck that sees us home safely at night. It should be our fundamental right respected by all. So on Saturday, as the sun sets, I choose to challenge the reality that being a woman means I am unsafe. And I will join Lambeth councillors, Anna Burley and Jess Lay and others who will be leading a vigil for Sarah and reclaiming our streets. And as we reclaim our streets in unity, I ask all women to remember what that unity means. Earlier this week, the world watched as a biracial woman recounted her struggle with mental health and her experience of racism. We then saw how easily and vocally people berated her and refused to believe her, even other women. So I choose to challenge a feminism that is not intersectional, that all too easily forgets the impact of racism on so many women. It is wrong for those who have never faced racism to discount the experience of those who have, just like it is when men discount our experiences of sexism and harassment. Our allyship cannot be selected. Madam Deputy Speaker, in our country, one in four black women die in childbirth. I know this pain all too well. My own pregnancy nearly killed me and my daughter did not survive. The children of black women have an 121% increased risk of being stillborn and a 50% increased risk of neonatal death. As women, we are told it's just one of those things. But staggering health inequalities and outcomes tell a different story. And like me, when you relive the experience again and again, it's not hard to find the instances where you are perceived, or if you are believed, as a black woman, make all the difference. I want to pay tribute to the work of the campaign 5X More, who continue to raise awareness and call for change. And I hope this House will give members the opportunity to fully debate the issue of black maternal health. And I choose to challenge a world in which all women do not have the equality they deserve. Thank you very much.